These are all the ingredients I need for my week's worth of, not those, <laughs> my week's worth of breakfast, lunch, and dinners. Tortillas, ground turkey, chicken breast, quinoa, onion, uh, garlic, some taco seasoning, some salsa, I'm just using what's left over from last week, and then a new one. Uh, garbanzos, chickpeas, whatever. <laughs> Two cans of black beans vegetable broth. These are two different kinds of bell pepper, some broccoli, brain fart, and then eggs. And I will show you what I do with all of these. This is what I use for breakfast. I make a breakfast burrito with eggs, um, some spinach, black beans, wrap it all in a tortilla, and then onion, garlic, and bell pepper. Pretty simple. And then as I eat it throughout the week, I usually put a little bit of this on it when I unfreeze it, just to give it a little kick. Now that it's all done, just portion it out evenly amongst your um, tortillas. And then I fold them all up and wrap them in foil and stick them in the freezer. Then you just take them out, take them out of the foil, put them on a plate and microwave them for two minutes in the mornings. And then in here I have chicken breasts and salsa and um, taco seasoning cooking. And then you just shred that for your lunches when you're done. I'll show you that. And I just forgot to say that you need rice as well. This is white rice, but usually brown is the best. Uh, spinach I just put in there. But I've had broccoli and some garlic, uh, orange and green bell pepper, and onion sauteing for a little while. So we're going to let that heat up. And then this goes with some quinoa that I cooked in vegetable stock. And this is our <laughs> ground turkey. And that is the dinner bowl. And back here I have some peppers, onion, garlic, and taco seasoning. And that's going to go in the lunches, which is this chicken, those, some rice, and black beans. Um, it's also important to note that when you buy canned, um, it's fine, but you need to rinse them off. So I use my strainer, which is dirty because I have already used it. <laughs> and then you just rinse it off with water to get rid of all the, you know, chemicals. Dinners are done now, so they each have about, uh, probably about half a cup to three quarters of a cup of this quinoa. <laughs> and then roughly about two scoops of just a giant spoon I had of the, uh, the rest of it on top. But that makes eight meals. You could definitely cut these down in size and, um, you know, get a couple more meals out of them. So I made eight. It's going to be about two weeks worth of food for me. Um, same with the burritos. I made eight of those. And then for my lunches, I'll make eight. Um, I usually do these throughout the week when I'm super busy. They're very helpful. And then I leave one day where I can just kind of not really eat what I want, but have something different. But it's nice to have these calories accounted for daily and not have to worry about what I'm eating and if it's going to fit in with my calorie intake for the day or nutritional <laughs> intake in general. Hey, look at that, I got a haircut. <laughs> I thought I would show you guys some um, pantry and refrigerator staples for me since I showed you, you know, my meals. Um, show you kind of what I snack on and have around the house that makes it easy for me to if I decide I don't want my prepared meals to, um, you know, kind of on the fly make whatever makes me feel good that day. <laughs> 
So kind of a quick overview of what I've got. Um, this is my favorite brand of unsweetened, unflavored, normal um, Greek yogurt. The Fage, or however you say it. I usually get the 0%, but this was the only kind that they had at the time um, in this size. I don't like to get the big ones because I don't eat it that fast, but I do use it um, to add extra protein to things. Um, for example, this is my breakfast burrito, and I've mixed some of this and my chili sauce together because this one has no calories. It's, I mean, it's pretty good at making things taste good, and this just kind of makes it creamy. I don't know. It's a good combination, but, and then I will use this with, um, you know, just as regular yogurt and sweeten it with either some honey or some maple syrup, just a little bit, and add some berries and my homemade granola. <laughs> So this is pretty versatile for me. Moving along, just this chili sauce. It's nothing fantastic. It does have sodium in it, but you know, you expect that with a hot sauce, but it's a good way to liven up any boring, unflavored meal. These are my hemp hearts. This is a good way to add extra protein to something, which is always nice. I don't eat a lot of nuts, but I do like these Kirkland unsalted mixed nuts because they are delicious. They've got everything in there. Um, I can use them in cooking. I can use them as a snack. Um, it's just nice to have this in my pantry. This is the kind of peanut butter I have right now. It's not the best, but you know, it's not terrible for you. Um, I have a chunky kind too that I use. Sometimes I will take a wrap and some peanut butter and a banana and just, you know, smear this on the wrap, add a banana, roll it all up. It's really good. <laughs> and I use this to dip apples in. Um, I also make a really cool protein shake with my, yeah, <laughs> peanut butter. And then I have a ton of oats. Um, this one in particular is my homemade granola. It's hard to see in there. There's some nuts in there, granola, dried apples, um, a little bit of sweetener, and some cinnamon. It's really, really good. <clears throat> but oats are really good because I can use it in place of flour. You just grind up the oats. Obviously not the granola, but actual oats. And use that instead of flour, and it's an, a healthier alternative. And then I usually have some honey on hand, and that is a, you know, it takes place of sugar or whatever other kind of sweetener I usually use. This is the kind I've been obsessed with lately. Um, I usually get the raw, unfiltered kind, but they didn't have it this time, so I just got this one. I don't know what it is about this honey, but I freaking love it. And similar to that, like I showed you earlier, I've got some maple syrup. It is amazing what you can use this for, <laughs> for sweetener and stuff. And it sounds kind of funny to add it to, you know, yogurt as the sweetener, but you really don't taste the maple, like, at all. It's if I run out of honey, I can use it for um, sweetening coffee or tea or something. And if you wanted to go vegan, I know a lot of people have an issue with honey as a vegan option, so maple syrup is always a good choice. Uh, this is just protein powder. This one I think is just my chocolate one, yeah. Sometimes I don't have time to make lunch and I'm on the go, so I just use this. Um, some peanut butter, some coconut milk, some ice, and then usually I will add in one of these, which is just an instant coffee super super helpful that's what this is for <laughs> and then I add some peanut butter and it is so good so good but those are pretty much my staples aside from you know like having fruit on hand and vegetables to snack on or having some hummus um, I usually have a variety of pre-cooked canned beans in my pantry that I rinse and use for various things like I make my own hummus 
also wanted to show really quick that this is the milk that I've been using. I don't like soy milk. Um, my favorite is almond milk, but my sister-in-law likes coconut milk, so we do this. It's, like I said, unsweetened, and it actually ended up being the lower calorie version of the, um, you know, almond milk or coconut milk individually. <laughs> so it worked out great, but I use this in place of milk for anything that I eat. My kids still have, you know, dairy milk, but this works for me.